Welcome back, movie enthusiasts. Today we're going to be doing something a little different, all right? I know that I'm supposed to be doing movies or music, albums, video games, but today we're going to be reviewing a trailer and nonetheless Godzilla vs. Kong. Have you seen it? If not, Go watch it right now. I'm going to be playing a really, really quick clip before I jump into my breakdown, my opinions, what I thought about it. But before we do that, like, subscribe, tap the notification bell, okay? I got a lot of viewers, not that many subscribers. We trying to get them numbers up, okay, so I can stay consistent and that YouTube's algorithm keeps putting me on your timeline, all right? So without further ado, let's take a short glimpse into this new movie, Godzilla vs. Kong. I keep reaching for greatness because I'm here from it. Bows to who? Nobody gonna stop for me. Kong bows to no one. Dang, did y'all just see Kong's face though? Dog, the CGI in this movie is going to be off the charts. I could just tell by this trailer. Just by the beginning, seeing Kong's hand kind of floating in the water. Like, just seeing how, like, large he is in proportion to people in a boat. Like, I'm like, damn, bro, Kong is huge. And they don't really explain why he's on this boat or where he's going. But they do give you a little story. And there's apparently a little girl who has some sort of connection with him from the jungle. All right? And they seem to be friends. Maybe they don't have tea parties and dress up and stuff like that. But I'm sure if Kong see her in the jungle, he'll probably be like, hey, you know, that's my shoulder. You know, so they don't really say too much else. All right. Because off rip, Godzilla's fin attacks the boat, splits it in half. I'm talking about huge explosions. And we already get a humongous fight scene just in this trailer. And the trailer is only two minutes and 30 seconds. I know I'm excited, y'all. When I watched this, literally my skeleton like almost hopped out of my body. And it's not even because I'm a big Godzilla fan. I'm really a big King Kong fan, all right? And the crazy thing is, is I don't know too much else about his history other than the movies I've seen. I know that Godzilla is, you know, it has like almost 30 other movies that are made and it's been out since the 1954, something the 1950s? I think it's the 1950s, y'all. And I know that there's history from Japan and the MonsterVerse, but yo, to see them actually battle finally after all this time, I mean... We off rip see King Kong thrashing that ass, all right? Giving Godzilla like the whooping that he deserves, I feel, you know? Because for some reason it seems Godzilla must be wreaking havoc or somebody's doing something to the point that they have to match, okay? And we kind of see all kinds of explosions, cities crushing, typical things that we see in Godzilla movies, you know? Like they're huge, they're bigger than buildings. So of course they're gonna be like, like, they, they have no care, you know? They're monsters. They're fighting for maybe till the death to be the ruler, to be the alpha. Who knows, you know? I've heard some other speculations out there about a, a third monster that's going to be coming in this movie. And I really hope that there is not a third monster. I hope that this doesn't turn out to be King Kong and Godzilla team up against another villain. I want to see them actually battle, which it seems like that's what we're going to get. You know, in the trailer, we kind of see Godzilla in Japan, fully lit buildings like neon colors, almost like what old Godzilla wish they could have did back in the 50s. You know what I'm saying? Like it looked more real than what they have had in the past, man. Just seeing Godzilla like light up from his tail all the way up and... Man, that shit was fire. I definitely chose to post the clip that I did because that to me, that was just the most popping part. I mean, Godzilla somewhere gets this sword. I think that because in the trailer they say that, you know, that there was a battle between monsters and, and stuff like that. I think that Kong kind of finds some sort of cavern or some sort of place where, you know, there were more gorillas and there were more monsters. And he finds this axe-like thing, y'all. Because I don't see people giving Kong some big old axe to fight Godzilla. I could be wrong. What are y'all thoughts? What are y'all opinions? Yo, off rip, I think this movie's gonna be a 10 out of 10, and I know I might be putting my foot in my mouth, but that's how excited I am, man. I really need everybody who's watching, if you haven't seen the trailer, yo, you definitely have to watch this trailer. I feel this is gonna be the best movie in 2021. It doesn't even have a release date. It just says it's coming out this year. So whether you're gonna go watch it in a theater, watch it on HBO Max, 
We all got to make sure we stay tuned because I'm definitely going to be giving the movie an awesome review. I'm going to have to watch it at least three or four times. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, I want to make sure everybody likes, subscribes, and taps the notification bell. All right? I know that a lot of y'all have been slipping just kind of watching my videos. It's all cool, man. I'll be on YouTube watching whatever too. But I need everybody to stay tuned, man. I'm going to be staying consistent just like I've been. And you already know I'm going to be putting out content continuously. All right? Stay tuned. Stay brave. Stay Stay big. Yo, watch the train. Yo, watch my dog, bro. Watch my dog, bro. Let me know what y'all think, man. I'm out.